Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Derby City Classic 2022. This is Summerfield Habner with Bad Boys TV. Brought to you in part by Diamond Billiard Products, OB Custom Cues, the Billiard Shopping Network, and all of you. Thank you for tuning in. We have a round four match right now. We have David Grossman versus Corey Duell. Uh, both these very proficient bank pool players. The principal of pool, or the principal, one of the two. And David Grossman, who does not bank the ball gross, man. Uh, he did me the honor of spanking me at a round three. Uh, so he's still got no losses. I don't know about Corey. Um, but yeah, this is round four action here. 2022 Derby City Classic here in Elizabeth, Indiana. Uh, this has been an awesome tournament so far. We're coming back after missing a year. And this is, yeah, about as good as it gets. It looks like David won the break. Uh, David, a very unassuming player. You you don't you don't look at him and you're like this guy can bank the ball. And honestly, that's a lot a lot of bank pool players. They sneak up on you. Uh, we watched a fellow named Mel take out one of the greatest nine ball players in the world earlier today. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool to see these people that I mean nobody in the world knows how they play and they play strong. So that's David Grossman with a dry break, and Corey stepping to the table for his opening shot. Corey taking a while to see the table, and it's really, really important early on. Uh, you got nine balls out there. There's a lot of opportunities for either player to run a bunch of balls. Um, it's a great time to be able to capitalize on the number of balls out there, but it's also really important to not put yourself in a position to sink yourself early on. Give yourself a hole you got to fight out of. Corey not with a real obvious opening shot. Looks like he's going to try and squeeze that one by the eight ball. Uh, he's got plenty of room here. Nope, coming back at him. Uh, went the other way to try to get the cue ball down table. Unfortunately, makes contact, and... This could be off to the races for David. Looks like that seven ball probably goes on the side if he's got room to get around the six. The six ball definitely goes in the corner. Um, I think you're probably going to see him taking the seven ball if that six isn't in the way. For anybody that hasn't been to this event, uh, you don't know what you're missing until you've been here. Uh, you're locked in. A hotel in the middle of nowhere with some of the greatest players in the world. And there's nothing but good times in action. Everybody here wants to play. They all want to play for money. Even though we legally can't play for money and we're, that's not what we're here to do. We're just here to compete. Um, yeah. Good action. All right. Grossman coming in a little tight on that one. Missing a seven ball. Leaves Corey behind the six. He's probably going to play this. Uh, I guess he's got a couple options. He's either playing the nine cross side or the seven cross corner. Looks like he's shooting the nine cross side. Not sure if he's going to get around that seven ball. And he did. That's what I was worried about. Um, I don't know if you could see on that last one, but it looked like the seven was directly in the path of that. But you hit that shot with a little bit of top spin. That's how you get it to straighten out. And it just arcs right around that seven. So Corey dropping a negative one early on. Spotting David a ball. David comes to the table. Going to take that straight back on the seven, I imagine. Uh, David shot these really, really good against me. I'm just going to commentate or curse him the whole time. Not meaning to. Yes, there we go. Beautiful shot. Striking first. Nine ball, same shot, straight back. Um, huh, I thought he would have tried to nudge those balls, but he just wanted to stay there. Perfect shot. I'm not sure that one sneaks around the eight. He might have to take the one long rail. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think the one goes around the six in the upper left-hand corner pocket. He could also thin the one and play to the lower right-hand corner pocket. Like I said, I don't know how much of a pocket he has to bend around that eight ball. All right, looks like he's going to play over in the corner or just play safe. Tried to play safe, but unfortunately that one ball got all the way through there, and that's going to leave Corey in a great position. A couple commentators out there saying this is their do-or-die bank, this one ball. A lot of us learned this playing one pocket. A uh, tricky thing about it right now is that the ball is just not throwing like it usually does against the rail. Still pretty slippery conditions out there. Uh, Corey, definitely a, a mechanic. He's going to have no problem with that. All right, so he's getting that ball back. We're going to take his negative away. He's going to have to spot that ball after the turn. Playing the six ball on the side. Catches that outside point. All right. Uh, but plays a nice shot and a very deliber deliberate lay on the rail. Um, not sure if Corey just sees that David can bank the ball pretty well and he's playing a little more conservative. I would have thought he was trying to run some balls there, but uh, worked out just fine. That's what you get when you miss those. Uh, David maybe just going to pocket that three ball. Uh, you pocket the three that's going to spot behind the one ball. You leave him on the rail or barely miss it. Still leave him on the rail. The three ball is blocking the one. Uh, six ball probably banks in the upper left-hand corner pocket. The two eight feel pretty big from there, but I think he can squeeze it by. The one ball definitely banks through that gap. That's what he's going to do. No, he's playing the six. He's going to try and throw this ball. So it throws a little wide. Yeah, that's exactly how to hit it. Barely missing that inside edge. Yeah, both players not wanting to open up too much. David, a uh, player out of Florida. Um, and, yeah, just a really nice guy. Definitely straight shooter. Rick Jones warned me ahead of my match. He's like, better show up and play. And I didn't. So congratulations to David. Hope his tournament keeps going well. And trying to point hook Corey there. I don't think he got him. Pretty darn close, though, and that's a very effective shot in bank pool. Corey looking at the three railer on the six. Probably they're going to follow this ball down to the foot rail or stop it around the eight. All right, so follows it down. That's close. No cigars this time. It's got a pretty thin clip um, to cross side. It's also pretty easy to just make that six and roll him up on the rail. I think that might be what he's going to do. A two ball is a pretty free shot, but it's hard to not come back down. That's what he's going to shoot. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful shot. Make contact with those balls even. Break something up. Oh, I see the one sneaking out. Let's see what he got him. Got him straight back on the three. Um, which is a great shot. Oh, David's got three already. Oh, he under hit it. Man, that was dead on line, too. Excuse my scoring. He did have two leading into that inning. Uh, so that would have taken him to four. I'll bet he wishes he would have hit that just a little harder. It was dead on line. This is probably a 90% bank for Corey. Hit that ball nice and firm, especially with the rail slipping like it is right now. A lot of people say there's no such thing as being in the lead in bank pool, and that's the case a lot of the time with these pros. Corey can run five and out from just about anywhere, and that was all he needed to get going. One ball first. Uh, probably going to draw back and try and leave himself for the four or the five. Man, 
Maybe not. Three next. And this looks a little tight. Um, probably going to see some inside English here. Looks like a high ball, so high inside. Might look pretty straight. Well, didn't get himself that shot. 3-3. Um, three, three. He's probably going to thin off this five ball and go up to the head rail. He's looking at it, man. Maybe he's got the edge to go cross side. It's hard for me to see the separation here. And if he's got the edge of the four, he's probably got enough to throw it in there. Boy, from the way I'm looking, though, it doesn't look like you can see it at all. Well, I guess the five had room. Corey Duell going to four. All right, one to go. Only question is, is he going to stiff this or pass it? I think he's kind of got to pass it in this circumstance. He's going to hit pretty close to that first diamond. Just didn't throw quite enough for him. Great cue ball, though. Putting the pressure back on David Grossman. David one rail on that eight ball. Oh, that's a really rough little. Mm. And the eight ball is going to stay out of the kitchen. All right, so he's going to 0 1. He's going to drop to 2. And that leaves Corey with ball in hand here. Uh, this game number one may very well be over. Corey's still taking his time, making absolutely sure. He oh, wraps this up, and oh my gosh. Sometimes that ball doesn't go in, and if you're David Grossman, that's the greatest thing you've ever seen. And you're given just a one more opportunity to finish this thing up. It's tough to reach, but I like starting with a four ball here. Um, I just think it's the easiest bank on the table. Uh, the eight's pretty thin. I mean, the two's a straight back, but any, I like being close to my work. I'm a lot more efficient from close range. And he's playing pretty safe. I think in that position you got to attack. Um, I fully acknowledge I got destroyed by this guy earlier, so I got no room to talk. But in that situation, I, I really think attack is the way. I mean, there's still three banks on the table. Corey's got a straight back for the win, and you, you had a good chance to win that one. Wide. Grossman's getting, oh, no, it went, slipped in. All right, Corey taking down game one. Bank pool here is a race to three. First person to make five balls wins the game. Three games wins a set. Uh, Corey won that game, so it's going to be his option whether he wants to break or to give it back to David. I have a feeling Dave, or I have a feeling Corey's going to break. He's out there racking. Um, Corey, one of the one of the more studied break artists in the world, and he, uh, I expect to see him make a ball. I'm curious to see how he breaks these balls because we've been talking a lot about the cue ball floating up to the head rail and having a tougher opening shot than a lot of these players would like. So I, I'm curious to see if Corey will adjust and try and pop break, stay around the center of the table, or what he's going to do. I've also seen a lot of the pros that are used to making a lot more balls um, making, making too many. You know, you make four balls out there and you just don't have as many options to shoot at. So, yeah, I'll be curious to see what he does. Looks like we got some fun matches coming up. We got Vi uh, Billy Thorpe versus Max Eberly, 10.30 p.m. I think that's still round four action. And this is the one out of the money. So, winner of this one gets in the money. Uh, loser of this one, if they don't have a loss, can buy back into the money. Or, or are they going to like to get out? A little more ball motion than I would imagine from Corey, but ends up around the center of the table. 
Two balls down on the break. I think he's going to bank that four ball back at him. I can't tell how much room he has above that left side pocket, but it'll be interesting to see how this ball comes back for him. So kind of a center ball. And yep, great shot. It's kind of the only way to get that much English to transfer. Just that punch with, with a bunch of right there. All right, trying to pass this one by the two in the lower left-hand corner pocket. Corey's on one. Gets around it, but just a little wide. All right, two come up. And David Grossman comes to the table. Might be playing the side pocket here. Get in the hole. Whew. You know, and that's a shot that a lot of people would look at and be like, who's going to shoot that ball? Uh, bank pool players. That's who's going to shoot that shot. And it's pretty incredible how accurate people can get with it. Like you saw, I mean, that he made that look pretty easy. Still played nice and safe. Kept himself on a rail. Doesn't open up any banks. Um... That's a terrific shot. I think Corey might thin off the nine, come back up table. That is not what he's doing. Play off the six. Definitely opens up a little more with that. I think we're going to see the straight back on the six right here. The four may wrap around as well, but you'd really have to punch that ball. Yeah, I like the six. What do you know? It's the one, the only, the man of the hour, Mike D. Wow. That's the shot right there. Get out of there. Whew. Well, I would like to return some favors to this David Grossman guy, but I'm glad that he didn't scratch there to return the favor I gave him earlier. I was here two years ago, and I saw David on day four still in the same T-shirt. And what I want you guys to know is that means don't play that guy. <laughs> that means he has not gone to his room. Nope. He's been playing the whole time. He's been in the That's action great. room. He's been gambling. He has shirts. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. feel sorry for oh, him. No, I know. He didn't have a chance to change his shirt for four days. <laughs> He's I. That's the guy that beat me. That's my story. Oh, is it really? Yeah, he got okay. me. Did I ever tell you about the time I saw him on for four days, wear the same T-shirt? Four days, same shirt. Yeah. That's commitment. I, that I, is no offense. I'm saying this guy's a player, man. He did, he's, he's on it. He's gone. No, I, I was talking about him as one of those typical bank pool players that's kind of an unassuming person. You look at him and you're like, oh, that guy's got a pool cue, so I know he right, can play, but right, right, he don't look right, like that. Right. And, I mean, he shoots the ball good. This is the first time I've ever seen him in a pool-related shirt. He's wearing uh -huh. a hustling yeah. shirt right yeah, yeah. now. Last year, oh, it was a T-shirt. Oh, it's just a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, just a, just a T-shirt. Well, we got casual Corey Duell here too. Oh, right, believe it. No longer the principal of pool. I mean, he's kind of like the day off principal of pool, like field trip principal. I get it. No, I get it. I like it. I like yeah. the, the interim pr principal of pool. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, had you heard that that Corey's nickname had changed from the prince of pool to the principal of pool? No. No, I hadn't. Okay. No, I was aware of the prince of pool. Uh huh. Yeah, Why that's not a thing anymore. Why would they principal? I'm just going to say, from my perspective, doesn't make a lot of sense. No. I, I respect all the things that he's done with Iraq, uh -huh. but I don't find them principle-like. Have you seen him in a polo shirt? I think that may have something to oh, do with it. Oh, okay, well. Look at that. Oh, geez, that's Pretty. a great shot. A uh, little, little off, I think. Oh, he did get it. Wowzers. Is that yeah. what he did to you? Uh, he did an awful lot of that. I mean, I, I can't say that David felt a lot of pressure. In our match, and that's something where when you let any of these guys feel comfortable, 
they're they're just going to shoot lights out. And and David shot lights out. I I right. wonder if Banks that's even more true because Banks you you can either play a little tight or you can just start kind of you know swinging. Uh -huh. Sometimes you're better off swinging at Banks. You know. Yeah. Uh, man, Corey made this earlier and bent right around that ball in the side pocket. Let's see if he does the same thing. And he scratched last time. Shoots the same mm. shot, doesn't get there this time. Breaks these balls out. Terrific shot from Corey Duell. Oh, that uh, opens up the nine ball. I think that might open up the nine ball. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed that or not. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Uh, we might play at 10. No one cares. We might play at 10.30, you and I. Not and each I? other. Uh -huh. But, but we, we might, might play, play other All people. Right. Let's be honest. We could play each other. It's true. I hope not. It would be weird. Uh, Billy Thorpe and Max Eberle is our next match. If, uh, really? if we're not playing. All right. That'd be a fun one. Two fine fellas. I don't know. If he can see that nine ball, I don't know what Corey's thinking about. Well, he might be thinking about the double kiss. Um, I like the four on the side. It's not the worst I, shot I think, either, I honestly. think he's waiting on this table here. Oh, I see. Nice thing about four on the side is you could use a little top right on the cue ball and kind of leave it underneath the nine ball, possibly. Yep. No, I, I think he's you got think the that bank straight back though. You you feel like he's got that. He's looking at it. Yeah, I I so worry about double kisses, uh, and the double kiss produces such an awful result because it's like hitting a, a, oh, yeah. a hyperspace in asteroids. You don't know where you're going to end up. Yeah, it's, it's a like very re like relevant. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Analogies. <laughs> asteroids, yeah. Asteroids. Hyper well, the hyperspace. You kids know, part. right? Yeah, of course, you know. Uh, I might play this four ball, two rails in the side. Because of the eight ball? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't see the eight ball. Oh, God. I'd go two rails, yeah. too. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. I made two, maybe three sh beautiful shots my last match uh -huh. that involved going off of a ball similar to the eight and in the pocket. You know, they don't count when you do that. Yes, but they feel good. Oh. I just made that ball. Oh, I felt my accuracy picking up with every shot. I thought I was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're counting those, right? Uh, maybe playing the seven ball two rails. I like that. I just don't know what he's doing. Wowzers. <sighs> All right. You well, that would have been. That eight ball I think it's fair to say that would have been a hard shot to predict. Yes. That he was going to shoot that. I feel okay about this. Yeah, I think so too. And, as usual, I mean, I like to do predictions, but probably not our job to predict, even though that's what I, I like to do. It's fun. I'll bet he's going to do this. Yeah. Get in there. I think it's oh, fun. Oh, man. Yeah, I do, too. It's a little redundant. <laughs> <laughs> to listen to, you think? I, uh, I'll bet he's going to do this. Here's my guess. Here's my guess. Here's my guess. <laughs> here's my guess. I guess this. Here's my guess. So you had a Hill Hill match last time. Hill Hill, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, Hill Hill on ball count and on games. I didn't like it. Yeah, he uh, he made a smart shot. He left the cue ball. Uh, there was a ball hanging in the jaws. He left the cue ball right in the jaws. It was our last ball. I think I just said that. And I, I spotted it up and I back back banked it, back cut it and banked it. Boy, that was a great shot by Corey. Beautiful. Uh, he was sad. Jeremy Jones, one of one of the two only Jeremy Jones. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I was happy. He was sad. It was a great moment for me. That's awesome. Uh, what did you do in your match to control? Did you ever feel like it was getting out of control, or? Uh, I you know I don't have uh, I don't have anything positive of my game to say towards that. Honestly, uh, the truth is, this, my almonds. I, you, help yourself. I was uh, I was, almonds is what I was doing good against the. I'm telling the story. Oh my god. I'm doing pretty good against the guy, and he starts playing safeties on me, and he starts making balls and lining them up in the middle Ooh. of the table. Uh -huh. Somewhere I'm not proud to admit to you that it worked. He, uh, I was, I was shooting better than, I was shooting better than he was, and he slowed the game down and started picking off balls uh -huh. by doing that. Uh, people might not know this. Uh, I'm fifty something, fifty two. This kid's uh, twenty three years old. He slowed me down by playing smart. Yep, I'm not proud of that. Uh, you know. So I, no, I didn't control the game. He did. And then I'd wildly so shot at shots until I then. actually won the match Yeah, Got on it. some back cut bank that he's sick about because he's like, never is this guy making that. I played smarter than him. He still won. Were you, were you up to 2-0? Two 2-1? -oh? Two no. 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 Was I up? Yes, I was up 2-1. Yeah, I was up 2-1. Okay. Yeah, I was up 2-1. Yeah. And that's when he started playing more conservative, lining balls up, or just in the last game? No, yes. No, he started, yes. He, even before that, he started playing conservative. 
I'm not saying I didn't know what to do when he did that. Yeah, I'm just saying that he, uh, it, was, think, it was him. Yeah, Corey just had that one down there. So that's the end of game number two. All right. Excuse me, folks. Mr. Corey Tool. Duel. Is that his second game? Game two. Man. Principal, is, Principal of Pool is saying school's almost out. David Grossman, it's his last chance to come back. Corey, if you're watching this, I, I don't think principal of pool is appropriate, even if you have a polo shirt, my friend. You're still the prince of pool kid. You can be the prince of pool. Prince, prince, I don't he's listen. A, These days, up naming there. princes maybe isn't the way to go. Prince is not, it has nothing to do with age. Really? Can he be the artist formerly known as the prince of pool? That's not the spirit with which he was called prince, my friend, so no. <laughs> Come on, that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cute. It's cute. He's still the prince of pool. If your mom's still alive and your dad's still alive, you're still the prince of pool, man. Uh, hey, He's all, not all 70, I'm, for God's sakes. All I'm doing Corey, I is hope your parents are alive and healthy, my friend. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm just repeating what all, what all the people are saying, the talk of the town, you tell the bus, what, you, tell what, you tell them what Mike D said. I will after this match. Riddle me this, Mike. Uh, Seven. Okay, no, go ahead. What? Is Corey playing with a pink center extension? Um, it looked a little red to me, but it, it could be. You know pink. what I think it is? I think it's one of those, uh, the, the shaft. Oh, the, 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 I do know what you mean. Yep. Yes, it slides up and down the shaft. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. I've seen those. Uh, my aunt used to knit those for uh, pool players in our league. Interesting. That's I made that up. Huh. But that's what they look like. Don't they yeah. look like somebody's aunt made them for Absolutely. your league members? Yeah. yeah. And you think Corey has one? I think he, I think it's. Here's pink. here's what I have to say to that. <laughs> you could be right, dude. Right. No offense to the principal. I am no, and and there in no way he's am an I original fella. Any, any offense to the principal at all? Right. He's I sat there and watched my friend John Gunn take a breaking lesson from Corey, and really? the, the amount of intensity that Corey brought to that hundred dollar lesson that was supposed to be an hour that bled into two hours, it really made me respect him as a as a person, as really? a pool player. Really? I mean, he was very quick to say no. That's not it at all. And here, here's the difference. And, he, I mean, he worked with him really, really intently as though he legitimately cared. Wow. And, and to see somebody do that for, I mean, it, let's be honest. These guys are playing for thousands of dollars. A hundred bucks. Right. It just, yeah. David's got one. Drilled it. Backup table. Yes. No, I totally agree. I saw Darren Appleton. Do you know Jesse Johnson? The artist from Arizona? I do. Okay. I saw I saw Darren Appleton working with Jesse Johnson for a long time. I think just for free, just for just to talk. There, you know, he's he, Jesse's a pretty friendly fella. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I I've, I've seen Darren Appleton do that. Oh. Uh, yeah, Darren no, that's pretty cool, man. Two thousand twenty two Doobie City Classic. Doobie. Derby City Classic. It's been a long day. That's right. OB OB Qs, Qs. right? Bad Boys, Diamond Billiards, Bird Shopping Network. BSN, for sure. Just going to pocket that one, leave him on the rail. Boy, I hit with it today. I hit it with the Raven, and I I love it. You like the Raven. It's awesome. I, I hear it the hits Raven. the same as the regular as the... I heard that, too. Nice. It's really funny because a fellow there thought I worked there and was asking me about the difference between the two, and I was like, i got to be honest. I can tell you I like how it hits, but that's about as far as it goes. I, I don't work here. <laughs> right, right, um, right, right, right. And he said the other, he thought the other one hit stiffer. He's like, oh, I think this one hits a lot stiffer. And I was like, well, I, don't, I don't really know the difference, you know? But I was telling him how, how much I like the Raven as opposed right. to the other one. Right, But it, it does, I don't know, it feels like it hits a little bit different. Really? Than Interesting. The, well, I'm saying then when I hit the carbon fiber previously. Okay, okay. Not at this tournament. So I, I don't know if anything's changed. Yeah, right, right, right. Like you were mentioning, it's a quieter hit. And yeah, I there's, like that there's a lot. not the ting. Yeah, there's not the ting. It, it sounds it sounds regular. Uh, it's yeah, and it's it's it. I get the same hit off of it as any other carbon fiber I've hit with. You know, yeah, it plays great. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm having great luck with their jump cue too. Uh, I'm getting kind of magical with that OB jump cue. What do they call that jump cue again? The lift. The lift. I like it because uh, it's uh, four letters and it says it all. Succinct? I, I like yeah. succinct. <laughs> succinct is not a very succinct word if you think about it. It's true. It's kind of a long, drawn out. It's counterintuitive. Yes. 
that almond conversation was hilarious. Shane Van Boning. You're right about that thing. You're right. It's that thing. I think he's so animated he is for him. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, gap. my gosh. Look at Highlight that, guys. Reel. Boom. And he says count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then do it. That's awesome. Got it. Uh, does he call? Does he have a, a lane at the two ball too? Wow! Did we get no, that I think uh, he's on a score? Play, play the uh, seven ball. Yeah, I think you're right. A little wide. That's going in the side though. Whew. Mm. There's that golf shot. All right, seven up, two on the count. Straight back on the one ball for David Grossman. Down 2 nothing here at the 2022 Derby City Classic. This is Summerfield Habner and Mike D sitting in the booth with Bad Boys TV. D. My last name's spelled D-E-E. D -E -E. Thank you. Michael D. Mike D. All right. So I, not a lot of shots here. No. Nope. Uh, two, one ball, two rails into the top left. And, I mean, I wouldn't want to do that as a proposition bet. No. I was at the OB booth watching it for just a minute, and I had a drunk guy talking trash to me, wanting me to cut cut a ball from this point into that pocket. Uh. He was gonna he was gonna bet me five hundred bucks I couldn't do it, and I'm like, "You're right. That's <laughs> you're right <laughs> yeah. for sure." I was like, "Tell you what, though, I'll I'll give you five to one odds at a hundred bucks that you can't do it." And he was <laughs> he said, "I'll make it anywhere on the table, anywhere on the table," uh. and then he tried to hit it with the jump cue. Is he playing the two? The Z? So oh, playing the two maybe. railer. I don't know. Wow. Corey is such a creative player. He is really fun to watch. Yes, I agree. No, I don't care what Alex Pegline says. Corey is a heck of a <laughs> cool player. I had a guy trying to gamble with me a few hours ago. I uh, 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 wanted to go 2 7. Banks. He makes two balls, I make seven. He didn't even have a cue in his hand. I said, you don't even have a cue in your hand. What? What? He wanted you to give him 7-2? Yeah. He, he was being funny, I think. Huh. I don't know. It I said no. <laughs> I'm proud Actually, of you. Actually, I said, you don't even have a cue in your hand. Get a cue in your hand before you talk to me. What, uh, would that have changed anything? Would that have been... No, but no. see, that's where I've learned. You know, you grow up in the pool hall and you learn how to just kind of BS people. You know yeah. what I mean? That's just yeah. my first line of BS defense. I, you have no frame of reference. I got nothing to talk to you about. You don't even have a cue. You don't even have a pool cue, dude. Yeah. I'm curious why Corey's not looking at this two ball. I like that shot. Yeah, And I don't think you risk a whole lot being down there. He might be looking at it now. If I, were to, if I was a billiard clothing company, I'd be giving Corey shirts right now. I'd be saying, hey, you know, wear a, a pool-related shirt at a pool tournament. Like this one. <laughs> just saying. Just hypotheticals. I would. You know what I mean? If I were selling pool shirts, I'd give Corey a shirt right now. I would. As he's shooting, I'd walk out there. Hey, man. Hey, Corey, man. Hey, man. I want you to be, you know, fit in. I saw your pink thing there. I like the mountain. The so mountain's cool. It is, yeah. Uh, All right, one you, rail on the two. Do you feel like they're when professional players are just rocking normal clothing, they're like kind of like a blank billboard. They're kind of advertising for themselves. They're saying, "Hey, your logo here." I mm, I think what they're saying is they're a little above. They're a little above the fray. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? They're huh. just not really worried about it. I think you they go. I that. think from the super duper amateur to the super duper pro, dress the same. Not pool related. I think yeah. that's the truth. Uh huh. Get that shot. Get in the hole. Wow. Nice. Mr. Do you think Shane Van Boning goes to Safeway in his pool in his pool gear? Do we get that? <laughs> he might. I don't know. Yeah, I, you're someone who's known people in bands. I've known a fair amount of people in oh. bands. Do you think that you can wear your own band's T-shirt just on the regular? And I don't mean to wow. a show, but I mean just on the regular. I mean, do I think you can, or do you, do I think people do? It's a little tacky. Do you think it's, it's a little tacky? I think tacky. it's a little tacky, yeah. I think the pros get to a point where they feel like that. 
I think they're like, ah, yeah. you know, this shirt's Shane, fine Shane's for playing pool. I play just as good in this T-shirt as I do in that other one. Yeah, but I, I mean, Shane's not wearing that to Safeway. He's not wearing it ice fishing, but is he? Wear, he's wearing it to all the tournaments. But he I is, guess he's he required is. to. He is. Well, yeah. Uh, there's a band in Eugene. Uh, they're called Riffle, and it's a bunch of older folks. Real, real nice people. Uh, the kind of guys that would buy you a glass of wine. Okay. Uh, but I, I know that they wear their own band shirt. But I think that's the only band I'm aware of where I've seen that happen. Nice try there. Uh, but David Grossman taking a 3-1 lead. Something happening. Uh, I'm a little nervous for him about that six ball. I think there might be a gap between mm. the eight. Mm. It's small, but yeah, with how this rail is slipping... God, he's yeah. See, and I would take the three, but I'm a le much lesser player. No. Nope. Uh, fucking cross over the three. Get it to this bottom right. I like slipping by that nine, but it's a lot harder shot to cue on, especially for somebody who's oh, not I quite as tall. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But I've said it many times before. I like being close to my work too. Yeah, he's looking I, at it also. I think it's a double kiss, but it's that's so hard to tell sometimes. And then some of these guys are magic. I don't know how they make the cue ball disappear, but I think they do. John Broomback can put the set, heck of a spin on things to change oh, it yeah. around. You know, avoid. Yes, wow. that's what I like. That's how I would have done it right there. Like my buddy David. Beautiful shot. Well done. And this is well down struck. two games to nothing. Kind of a must-win situation here. All right, so seven ball upper left-hand corner pocket. Or not. I just playing safe. Man, I don't. Mm. I think I got to shoot the seven to the top, to the bottom right hand. Oh, but I see. Okay, he's crossing over the six. Okay. It's just the eight looks kind of in the way, but. No, I think he's got plenty of room. Oh, he, he did have plenty of room, boy. He had more than enough room if he missed it that way. Wow, but David with a great opportunity here, this nine ball. Well, no kidding, yeah. All right. Got to be rooting for David to make this one. Perfect shot. Nice David shot, taking David. Game well done, three. well done. All right, we got a match on our hands. We got a, we got a barn burner. Announcing the Bigfoot over there, playing a race to 11. It looks like Mika took that one down over Fieri? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody that had nine. Mm -hmm. They're very excited. This is the day of the Elite Eight, going down to four tomorrow. Uh, I think four people cash in that event, and it starts with 16, single elimination. Race to 11, 10 ball, one of the cool things here. Tonight we got Midnight Madness. So yes, is that tonight? Midnight Bank Pool, yeah. Did you get in that? I haven't. Okay. It's a $25 entry. Uh, it kind of depends. I don't want to be playing all night if I have a match in the morning. Right, right, right. We might play at 1030. We might. Again, I know you don't care, people. Nor, nor should you, quite frankly. Yeah. If you cared, I would think it was weird. What do you care I played about? at 1030 six years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. totally. I'm so interested. This is in 2022, and they're talking about their match? Do you remember 2022? Right, exactly. It's a weird year, man. Slips right around that uh, shot. Oh, look at that. I like his Over cue ball. It. Yeah. But again, that slow speed, a uh, lot, of, lot of throw impact on that. Yes, I was, I'm really trying to, to pinpoint the speed on these and, and, and you know what is what effect I'm getting depending on how fast or slow I hit it, you know? Uh-huh. I'm surprised Corey's not going to take this one ball. I, the nice uh, crisp shot. This is one where this is just center ball, <laughs> and it just gets right out of the way. Really natural shot. But he could be further down the rail than I think he is. Is that what you're thinking? I think, uh, yeah, and I think the one is closer to the long rail than, uh, yeah, it's too close to the long rail. I, I think it's double kiss. He's going to try and stiff this, huh? Wow. Is a beautiful combo. Spot in the seven, so the six isn't going to go. Oh, six the goes in the lower right hand corner. Well, no, he's going to got to spot a ball though, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah. Good point. Um, boy, there's not a lot. The eight ball. Uh, the four. Nine ball. 
Cross side. Yeah, I think with that five ball there, he's going to have to go with the four up top to the right, although he's not looking at it, so that's probably I'm wrong. Uh, five ball That's what he's looking at now. Yeah. To the top left, yeah. Yeah, and that's definitely there. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. Got a little airborne there. Yeah, there's only one way to shoot at that one, too, and it's confidently. Oh, man. He better hope he got behind that six, and I don't think he did. No, I don't think he did. The boy, they, the these guys live for side pocket banks, too, don't yeah. they? He's going to pass right by. I hope to make contact with that two ball. Ooh, 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 that's dangerous. Not that part of it. Brutal. All right. All right. Corey falling a negative one. Uh, for those of you out there who think I'm crazy with the scorekeeping, uh, the ball count won't let us go negative, so that's a reminder of us that they're negative, or for us that they're negative. And David uh, Grossman, great opportunity here. Boy, that really turned around quick. Uh, yes, it did. Went from yeah, Corey running some balls to David need to get out here. Steve running around like you like you filled that bracket. Are you full, Steve? Is it? Did you fill it up? Did you fill the event up? Did you fill the tournament up? Did you fill the tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Wow. Man. There's a lot of activities here. It makes sense. This is one yeah. of the tournaments you go to, and uh, everybody here is full-grown adult pool players, and they want to play all night long. Uh, so they got Midnight Madness right. tournaments, uh, uh, three of the nights here. Uh, so during Banks, they got a bank, uh, Midnight Madness. During One Pocket. Okay. They got a one Absolutely. pocket midnight madness during nine ball. I know this is getting redundant. Right. They got a nine ball midnight madness. Uh, plus, they got uh, ring game stuff that uh, you can get into, like organized ring game. And apparently, all this stuff's going up on digitalpool.com, which is is really oh, awesome. that's awesome. And they're really trying to redo the brackets. It sounds like maybe next year we're going to be a little more like click on your phone and figure out when you play. This is if you haven't been here, it's um, it's unique. Uh, they do they do the draw every time, so they can't have a traditional bracket. So everything isn't very accessible online. In fact, there's just a couple projectors, and that's really the most accurate way to get your information. So okay, so let me say this: I'm here. I'm playing in this tournament. Uh -huh. I have to spend 12 to 17 minutes per family member explaining that there's no bracket and they can't check the bracket uh -huh. and that it just doesn't work like that. And there's a redraw after every round and you buy back even though it's single elimination. So it's so kind of double elimination. Next? Right, exactly. It's a 17-minute conversation. Wow. Well, meanwhile, David Grossman, oh, I'm going to try to record that, just smoked that uh, two-railer in the side pocket like it was just fuck. Hungry, hungry hippo. Drilled it. All right, he's banking this puppy in. Yeah, he's feeling good too, isn't he? Yep. He's uh. That's in the pocket. Yeah. And there's always a swing in these matches. That is a great shot right there. I know Corey keeps it together pretty well, but this is when you start thinking the momentum has changed. And yeah. And you need to do something yeah, to control yeah. this. Now, I have seen Corey uh, ebb and flow a little bit before. Uh, Beautiful. Oh, no. Corey's one of those in. guys that's capable of banking five in, 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 oh, yeah. in, you know, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Yeah, I've seen him struggling. Actually, here, I've seen him struggling here, and then just pull it out. Just yeah. now, just a zoom. You realize that's what makes the difference, you know? Oh man, we saw Mel beat Josh Filler three nothing earlier, and Mel is just this. Coke bottle glasses, old guy, bank pool player. Wow. Just, I mean, he is, he is strong. And Good. when was that? Uh, just earlier today. Playing right over here. Oh, really? Yeah, he and uh, Pia Filler, is that her name? Uh -huh. They were playing side by side. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I think Pia got hers. I think, yeah. I told you. Yeah, I've seen, so I saw Pia play, uh, play the Ghost at Roy's Basement, which is a nine-foot table. Uh -huh. uh, and she was beating the crud out of the Ghost. And if you've ever played the Ghost 10 ball on a big table, dude, you got to play good. 
you got to play good. And it's live streaming. All of the world is watching. Not totally. all the world, but that's boys' basement. Live stream is pretty popular. Yes, it is. Look at that touch. Wow, that's great. That's some one pocket right there, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yep, he still owes one. Man, so David, two balls away from taking this thing to Hill Hill. And Corey needs six. You said he banks five and out, but six and out might be a different story. Could be. Look at that touch. He's going to be sitting right on the rail, too. Man, beautiful shots. Back to back. Yeah, no, I agree. These guys are playing good. Uh, I like going off the nine ball here. Looks like he's going to go off the eight. Maybe off the five. No, he's playing the eight. Oh, back up table with it. That's smart. Mm-hmm. Look at that on the touch. Rail. That's three in, three in a row sitting dead on the rail. That guy's got the touch. Yeah, and that those are just really tough to judge. Yeah. Only pool players can really appreciate the subtlety of that shot. Well, yes, yes. And the importance of, of why it's so important to you. Yeah. You know, I mean... Oh, that was a pretty good shot there, Dave. This is four in a row. They're going to be sitting right on the rail. I mean, look at that. Wow. That's excellent bank pool. Dave is keeping up with uh, Corey quite nicely. That yeah. is not easy. And drilled that ball. Yeah. In my experience, that's a shot that you want to make because it's the right shot, but it's it's dangerous just because you, if you miss it, it's a problem. I didn't like Corey's shot selection there because he's coming off the head ball. Oh, ooh, ooh, that's in. Oh. Wow. That's the last thing you want to do. Corey's David is tap dancing in his heart two. right now. Right? Yeah, it is. And I, I was commenting on uh, the appearance, not from the T-shirt, but from the boots. I was like, David didn't even wear his nice boots. They're just, they're boots. David worked okay, on Okay, so yes, all right, so I'm putting boots. some things together. Yes, that's, I see what you're saying. And yes. I don't know if he does a lot of tap dancing, but if he did, now would be the time. It sounds like he'd need to change boots. But the truth is, I think we're sitting here talking about David and being lucky to be in this situation with Corey. And I, he's I not. I don't think yeah. he's... No. Phased by it one Oh, bit. no, no. And I think, uh, I think David's been in this situation many times yes, before. Yes, no, David's a player. That that was the point of that T-shirt store. I'm not yeah. making fun of anybody. That oh, guy's got totally. plenty of shirts. Yeah, uh, he's a player. Yeah, and he comes here and gambles and is in the action. Or, excuse me, there's no gambling anymore. We signed the waiver. But, uh, yeah. uh, you know, he's, he's practicing hard. I've seen him practicing with guys. Just, you know, he's a real practicer. What a shot. Get in the hole. Oh, uh, one of the things that I thought after that is, why did I sign my actual name on that thing? And they, they just said, hey, put your name on this and sign it, and, and I did. I only scribble my name. I never I have I'm to worry about that. I think I'm only going to sign Rick Jones from here on. I like that. I'm going to be Rick Jones makes, everywhere I think I go. that makes sense. I like it. I mean, I want to promote bad boys, but more than anything, I want to promote Rick Jones. I want to use this photo to promote him. All right, Corey's going to hang behind this point here. See if he can stay on the table. Uh. Yep. Barely missed that one. All right, two balls away. Got a back back bank on this three ball. Yeah, or two rails. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Max? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Got Mr. Max here Mr. from Max Alaska. Max Alaska. Yeah. Got the Max and Max show. Right. I, th- I believe he's uh, kicking butt in this tournament still. Boy, you that's st- it. You still on? Yeah, there you go. No losses? One loss. All right. Keep it up, man. Yeah, exactly. In this field, that's pretty good. All right, so this is a pretty pretty easy side pocket. I mean, David might be tap dancing, but that's a ham sandwich for Corey Dewey. Yeah, I agree. Oh, and Ooh. and followed by this, too. <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever worked around family, but there's a lot of yelling. <laughs> A lot of good natured, bantered yelling. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is one rail. Hey, good to see you. Hey, good seeing you, brother. Yeah. What you got? Squid to puss. <laughs> That's three for Corey there, so he is one on top wow. at this point. Wow. And he's got two games. Two games. So he's okay. got and, then, seven and, then, and he owed two balls. Yep. So now he has one ball. This is like a, a story problem from second grade. If a train leaves a station <laughs> right, right. at 7 if, p.m. If Corey owes two balls, balls if Corey goes. owes two balls, he <laughs> runs three and then scratches. <laughs> How many balls does Corey do on the end? Rick Jones? Straight back. The man, the myth, the legend? How you doing, big guy? 
Make it happen. Legend maintains there this is a legend This guy runs here. tournaments. Nobody, who runs tournaments for a living? <laughs> Rick made up a job. He's, he did. I run pool tournaments. This can't be right. Where? All over. I'm going to go check. Count's wrong. 3-3. Three, three. All, right, all right. All right. No, don't don't go because we're going to have, I mean, once he spots the balls, we'll okay, know. Okay. But he's got a spot, too. I think he's run five. A little wide there. Oh. All right, so he's going to spot two now. Let's see if I was wrong about being negative. We're, we we need them to account two. for one ball, correct? Three plus three plus three is nine. So we just need one ball to come up, and then everything's good. Yeah, but he's going to spot two because he owed two. So I think I think maybe it's three to two, David, to Corey. I will go double check that because there's probably somebody out there that cares. Absolutely. Thank you. We're going to call it three two. Mike D's going to go find out for you. Uh, David's got a shot here on the seven ball back in the side. He could probably take the three in the lower left hand corner also. Um, and this is a tricky one to judge. I always want to ask uh, somebody to watch this for me. Gosh, I feel like he rushed that shot a little bit. And man, with Corey shooting how he is, that may be the last opportunity he gets here. Um, I don't know if Corey, he'd like to throw around this ball, but I think he's got to try and get under the six. He's just going to stiff it. All right, there it is. So now it's 3-3, three, three, is that correct? They have the ball count as 2-3, yes. So, yeah, yeah, but... It was 2-3, well, Corey know, it to was, David. It, well, see, that's the thing, I don't know. It was 2-3 a second ago, so now it is either 4-2 to two or 3-3. Three to three. I, You know, sure. they don't have their names over their pockets, so... Yeah, almost positive it's 3-3. Three, three. Sorry, guys. A little long. Yep. Uh, these are all some bankable balls uh, if you're in the right position. Yeah, this five goes. Straight back. Yeah, boy, I hate not knowing. Oh, did he get the twist? No. Nope. Twist. A little tight. Like we did last summer. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Or but um bounce. Oh, nice shot. Nice try. I find it really interesting with the familial noises that it's very hard for me to decipher what is a real argument and what is playful banter. Inter yes. I well, yeah. Uh I don't have that trouble with the family. Uh the the customers, the players sometimes that are at the podium, sometimes I have a hard time telling uh, what the level of aggression is on them, on their part. Sometimes people get very mad. David, nice shot, man. Nice shot. You're a champion, dude. I'm almost sure that takes David to four. This yep. is out ball right here. Yep, yep, yep. Huh. I, I guess what I mean is my bartender ears. Yes, constantly, yes, I Constantly, like, bet. I perk up. I like, bet. I'm looking like, oh, yeah. it's yes. going to happen right now. Right, We're going. Right, right. And and then they're all smiling and hugging. Right, like, right, oh. right. <laughs> yep. I'll be darned. Corey Duell, straight back, lower right-hand corner pocket. Yeah, he likes his odds, I'd say. Down 3-4. Looks like he's going to go straight through. Might try to nudge that six off the rail. I like that shot. Is it going to Drift right, drift there? right, drift right. Oh, that was close. Oh, man, nice try, Corey. Some sort of chicken-related argument going on up there at the basketball. When place. do we? Hey, I got a question for you. What's that? When do we find out if we play at ten thirty? I'm noticing it's ten after ten right now. It'd be a good time to know right now. I just tried to look it up. Um, uh huh. And this is what my phone's doing. So. Oh. All right. So he's uh, landed on the rail. Safety. I respect that. Um. Tell One me. of us could go check the score to make sure it's on and ask these guys when we play. Or maybe you have reception on your phone. All right, Corey looking at this. Um, I think he's got to be looking at the spotted ball. Maybe, I mean, he's looking at the five. He could be trying to clip the five. Uh, clip across, that's a yeah, real natural. Cross back it, yeah, cross uh, yeah. Come back up table, real nice and natural. I'm surprised, though. Also oh, just, I okay. see. Okay, so he's, he's playing smart. 
and he tries to get right under those balls to not leave him the edge. And it looks like he's pretty much gotten there. There's not a lot of players out there who are going to try and clip that six ball. There we go. Excellent shot. Look at that touch. Oh. Man. Almost even lines up the 6-5. Corey could definitely try to thin off one of these balls and go back up table, probably the six ball. He could also cross over the five ball. Let's see what he chooses I like to Corey. do. Yeah, crossing over the five ball seems decent. The only problem is that, si I mean, you get anywhere towards the center of the table, and that six ball is juicy. Okay, I found the bracket, and I'm looking for our names. Look at that shot. Oh, did he under a little too soft, huh? Gosh darn it, looked like he hit that ball perfect. Okay. I play at 10 a.m. against Joe Brown. I hope that ain't the judge. And Summer ha Summerfield Habner, you play at 10.30 tonight. All right. Um, I'll talk to you later, my friend. Go enjoy your seven, 10, 17 minutes. Holy cow. Yeah, now's the time. Oh, this is almost there. Does it say what table? You're so smart. <laughs> what a good thing to want to know. 22, right? Table 22. Oh, my gosh. Get there. That is getting in. No. Man. <sighs> if Corey wins this game, David's going to look back at that shot. And right. Not be thrilled. All right, uh, just going to pocket this five. Table 22, huh? Table 22, buddy. All right, this is me. I'm out. 2022 Derby City Classic, Summerfield Mike D. Right. Boys TV. Right. Thanks a bunch for tuning in. Thanks, Summer. Great to have you, man. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, so we made it spotted up. All right. Hey, good luck, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, do well. I uh, had this, I know you guys don't care, but I had this shot uh, earlier today. I back cut the three and banked it back to back to the hole where the cue ball was. It was 4-4 four, four, uh, ball count and 2-2 uh, two, two in game count. So it was case game, case game, and I made it and I won. My opponent was sad and I was happy. That's my story. Let's see how Dave handles this. I probably did completely the wrong thing. It just went my way. Wow, oh my God, David, nice shot, dude. Wowzers. Oh, that was a great shot, man. So we got 2-2 two -two here. Uh, this is so exciting. Both these guys play real good. All right, and uh, they may be taking a break. Hey, man, have a good one, buddy. Yeah, and they may be taking a quick break. We will see.
Saved by the pros. All right, here we go. Uh, two two. Uh, the ball count is zero zero, of course. And yeah, this is for all the marbles here. Not really all the marbles, but this is the match. Oh, that uh, that cue ball. Tough position for the cue ball. Uh, he didn't make anything. Uh, they did, well, Corey at this point, uh, since it's his shot, got lucky that that five's sitting there. He's got a side pocket shot. Um, yeah, and I don't particularly like anything else. Uh, now, these guys at these levels might be able to bank that two ball, uh, hold it up, you know, but I think the two's the way to go. Or, excuse me, the, the five to the side. All right, so David is on one there. Trying to get five. Four more to go. And he could call himself a winner. That's David Grossman against Corey Jewell. Uh, my name is Mike D. Commentator for Bad Boys TV. Uh, the 2022 Derby City Classic. Brought to you by Diamond Pool Tables. Beards products uh, and OBQs. All right, so he's banking that seven up back to the side pocket. That's a tough shot, oh, but this guy plays strong. Yeah, he's off to a good start. Uh, I'm noticing with banks sometimes the first two or three pocketed balls can be uh, not easy, but the easier of your shots. It's those last one or two that you need to win the game that can be really difficult. All right, so he's on the board for two. Corey's going to get up here. Uh, personally, I've seen Corey ra uh, rally before in situations like this and just destroy people. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, Corey can just be magically good. He's just trying to figure out what to do. I think he's got to bank that two ball. I just can't imagine anything else being worthwhile. All right, all right. That uh, was very off. That cue ball, I think, took off in a way that he did not expect. Uh, took a little chance on a scratch. All right, so what do I see? What I see is the one ball could, I believe, bank straight back to where David's standing. Um, I think if you were playing one pocket, you could also send it one, two rails uh, down to the bottom right-hand corner pocket. Uh, so we'll see what he likes. Uh, personally, I'm a little afraid of, of banking it straight back. Uh, I kind of prefer the two rails. Rick Jones saving my life. All right, three, six, seven, eight, nine. The score is correct. Corey is playing safe. Oh boy. All right, so uh, now is a bad time for that too, because it's so it's two, two. This is case game. You don't want to owe a ball. Um, those little marks mean he's a uh, negative one. Oh, you can't see the marks, can you? Well, he's negative one.
All right, so David has a chance to get three out of this. Not three, but, you know, get to his third ball. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh, wow, that's a, that's that, that one holds up uh, quite a bit. So that was well done. So, yeah, that takes him to three uh, versus negative one for Corey. I would say David's having a good tournament. Well done, David. Uh, sometimes just out of camera view, we'll have other players standing and things like that, and, and that's why sometimes it takes longer to, for these guys to get to the next shot. Just have to assume there's something we don't, we can't see. And I am a little bit away from the table, enough to where I can't, I gotta really kind of move around to be able to tell exactly what's happening, so. All right, so David now is, he is in a little bit of a tough situation. Now generally, similar to one pocket, you kind of want to slide off a ball and get back up table, but also similar to one pocket, everything starts looking like a scratch. You know, you want to do that, and everything starts looking like a scratch. Uh, and then you often scratch or, or uh, miscue or do something goofy. The longer you stare at it, the more your odds go up. Yeah, that was well done. That was good. Oh, and he got it right on the rail. Well done. All right, so he's at three. It's the Banks division at the Derby City Classic. Corey playing safe again, it looks like. Okay, interesting. So that's what he was trying to do before when he scratched. And even in case game, he was willing to do it again and get it figured out. I've got to respect that. Um, I'm not saying anything because I don't have any ideas. <laughs> um, uh, I guess uh, slide off the one ball, come under the nine, come back up table. Cue ball there makes it so tough. Uh, David is really putting Corey in jail as often as possible. Yeah, well done. I don't see what Corey really has here. He maybe can bank the six to the top right hand corner pocket. I would say if he has to pick a shot to go for, that's going to be the one, but, but it's hard to say. Okay. Nice safe shot. You know, relatively so. All right. I think he's banking the nine ball and he's holding up the no. Nice shot. Nice try. It seems like it, it's, if, if it's me, I gotta bank that two ball back to the side. Thank 
Oh, nice shot. Okay, so two balls will need to be spotted up after his turn. And that's too bad for Corey in a way because it takes away options. Um, for me, if I'm playing, it also means I got to remember it. I've been known to grab those balls right now. <laughs> Get those two balls, put them in my pocket. All right, well, that's going to put him at zero because uh, he owed a ball. I know that wasn't on the score, but you're just going to need to trust me. And then he's spotting up two balls that he made sloppy. Uh, yeah, I think he's got one more ball. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, because the one he owed plus the two, that equals three. Uh, good job. They got it figured out. I had a couple little disputes with opponents uh, in my matches here, and it's it's nice and refreshing how nice everybody is. Uh, uh, th when I say dispute, it was really just uh, us trying to figure out what was going on and nobody trying to take advantage. Nobody wants to trick anybody. All right, one rail back. Is that going to drift? Nope. Corey is itching now, boy. By the end of these matches, uh, they get out there quick when it's their turn. Um, I have a three rail on the, the, the six or the three. I feel like the, the, okay. So Corey's shooting a shot that is a, what I would call above my pay grade. Like, I'm not even sure what he's talking about. He's going two rails back up to the corner he's at. Okay. Yeah, live and learn. Call the side. Yeah, he does not have a lot of great options here. Um, I think maybe technically you could do a three railer on the six ball. Um, I think I I don't I think the one is a little high for it, and really the six may be a little high for it too. But I, I think I'd try it. Uh, you could definitely do Corey's shot. He just did. You got a two railer uh, to the corner. So basically, the six ball could go to the top left corner. The one ball, or that might be the nine ball, could go to the top right. All right, so I assume he's going three rails with the six, which was my first thought. Yeah, well, I think technically that could have went. Everything looks like a double kiss to me. Uh, I, I prefer the six ball because I think that three is a double kiss. Uh, we'll see what Corey thinks. All right. Rick Jones on the mic. Whew, what a tough match. Yeah, this is a tough one, man. They're Sweating. brawling it out. Uh, Corey was down a ball for a while. Told Kenny I was going to jump back here and help. Yeah, he's like, they're almost done. <laughs> So, well, you know, somebody got to help him get it across the finish line. It's all good, man. I'll take all the help I can get. Uh, that was close. David Grossman's one of those highly underrated players. Yes, man, he's, yes. He's strong. Yes. Yeah, I've, he's been here, I think, every year I've been here. A couple of years ago, I think he gambled three days straight, man. Yeah, he's yeah. a hell of a player. Yeah, he played a lot. All right, one rail for Corey. Trying to get on the board for ball count. And that's going to go wide, I think. Yeah. Corey's looking a little healthier than he used to. He looks like he's put a little more muscle yeah, on. Yeah, he's got some muscle. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. Yeah. Just an observation. Yeah, yeah. 
That's pretty good safe. Uh, I find safeties in banks uh, a little can be a little elusive. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. people are like, ah, you left me the four railer. <laughs> what? I can five rail this. Right, exactly. Huh? I like this shot. That's a, that's my shot, man. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't think there is a safety against John Brumback. I'm telling right, you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Unless he's hooked and he can't hit a ball. Right. Yeah, I got to see him and Neil play earlier. Uh, that, that's oh. always a treat, man. Either one of those guys watching him play. It's intimidating to come up and play on the table after he's played on it. Because you're like, people are sticking around, right? They There was this big group watching John Brumback play. The guy banks like a god. Right. And then you step up there after he's finished his match, and you're like, oh, you guys all need to go follow right, John right, somewhere right, right. so I don't yep. look like a fool. Yep. Because I can only bank two or three in a row. and <laughs> It's funny. And that's cross There's side, a lot of spectators here. Court. And you can really feel in the first little, first part of your match often, too, the spectators are trying to figure out, are, like, are you real yeah, good? Are you kind of good? Are you yeah. super good? Are you, Did you know, this guy enter for the fun Are you from it? America? Did you fly here from Poland? You know, <laughs> yeah, right. what exactly? Trying to categorize you. Because in this joint, there could be people from anywhere uh, or all around yeah. the world. And they could be playing lights out, That's and you got no they idea. Need to do. They need to put a list out of all the countries that are uh, represented. That are represented here. here, yes, exactly. Oh, who was that? Uh, Jean Siam was just here. Yep. Right. A uh, Germany. Sundin. Germany. Yeah, he said it's a hung Hungarian name, but he's German. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Yeah, I feel so bad because I'm like, how do you pronounce it? Did I say it right? And he's like, nope, but it's okay. But he wasn't going to correct you. And I'm like, dude, yes, no, yeah. no, man. You're, I hate getting people's names. Right. That, me too, man. Me too. But then he said it, and I'm like, I'm not sure I could say that right. <laughs> then he kind of explained it, though, and I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. I told him at one point in the conversation, you're too good for people to be mispronouncing your name, man. You That's make right. people figure out how to say it. He started giving me the history of his name like that was going to help <laughs> right, me. Right, right, exactly. It. No, I was there for that, yes. <laughs> David is having a good game, so he is on the hill, my friends. And he's got a the three. He can tighten up, or he could just do the two. I think the two is natural. He's got definitely two shots on the side. Wowzers. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, don't jinx him. Don't you jinx uh -oh. him. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm trying to put the brakes on, man. All right. <laughs> what All right. a game. He I takes like to Corey take a peek. Down. Yeah, they're done. That was it. Okay. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, Rick Jones, Mike D, yeah. 2022 Derby City Classic. Feels good to be back. Oh, it does feel good to be back. Yeah, brought to you by Diamond Billiards, Bad Boys. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Yeah, thank you very much. And OBQs, we'll see you again soon.